A while back, I made a video showing how I create audiogram videos to promote my podcast on social media. Since then, I've continued to get a lot more questions about this, so in this tutorial, I'll show you how I create simple audiogram videos for social media using Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. There are many different ways you can do this. You can do it manually, or you can use an audio transcription application. This is the method that I typically use, and the application I use is Sonics. So in Sonics, I've already imported my audio clip, and it's transcribed it, and then I've divided my captions word by word. While there are many different ways to create the sort of karaoke text effect, one of the simplest methods that I have found is to essentially create two versions of the same caption files, but one is going to be our highlighted text and then one is going to be the unhighlighted text. If this doesn't make sense now, I promise it will make sense very soon. So with my captions all divided up, I'm going to hit export and select subroot file and download it. And then our second set of captions we will create in Premiere Pro. So with my project file open, I'm going to add a color mat. So I'm gonna to go to new item and select color mat. The dimensions will depend on the platform that you'll be posting to. And in this example, my video is going to be posted on Instagram. So I'm making my dimensions 1080 by 1080. 30 frames per second is fine and square pixels for the aspect ratio is fine as well. I'm going to leave the background black for now and I can change that later on and then just rename it background. So I'm going to drag that onto my timeline and then I need to add my audio clip. And then I'll extend the background layer to the length of my audio clip. So now I need to import my SRT file that I just created. After I downloaded the file, I created a duplicate of it and named one of them highlighted text and the other not highlighted. So we're going to start with our not highlighted text. So to start, I just need to listen through my audio and make sure that all of my subtitles line up correctly. And at this point, you'll just want to make any adjustments to your captions that you need to. So I'm just closing all of these gaps in between. Depending on how much you'll need to edit your subtitles, you may want to hold off on duplicating the file until after you've edited them so that you don't have to edit them twice. But in this case, all of my subtitles line up to the audio correctly, I just needed to close a few gaps. Since this is our not highlighted text, we'll need to build out the complete sentence that we'll display. You can divide this up however you'd like. I'm probably going to do about three lines per caption. So now that I've created my three line caption, I'm just going to copy that and paste it onto each caption until the word somebody. And now I'm just going to do that for the rest of my captions. So once I've done that for all of my captions, then I'm just going to right click, select all, and adjust my size. So now we can move on to our highlighted text. So I've imported my highlighted text, so I'm just going to double click that to open up my caption window. And then I'm just going to turn off visibility for the captions that I've already edited. So then I'm just going to copy I and then make the second caption I don't. And I don't know. I don't know, man. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Basically, I'm gonna do that for all of my captions and match them up to the non-highlighted captions. So once I've done that, I will change the color of my text. And then I will just make the non-highlighted captions visible again. And so now you can see it looks like the captions change color as they go along. 
So before we move on to our audio visualizer, I will just double click on my color mat and change the background color. And for the non-highlighted captions, I'm just going to go over to effects control and reduce the opacity down to 30 and change the blend mode to overlay. So with that done, we'll move on to our audio spectrum. So I'm going to move my captions up and I'm going to add a transparent video. And just add that onto my timeline right above my background. Then I will just right click on my transparent video and go up to replace with After Effects composition. So once in After Effects, I'm going to go over to where my layers are, right click and new and solid. I'm going to name my solid Audio Spectrum. Don't worry about the color of the composition because once we create the Audio Spectrum, that background color won't be visible anyway. And then I'm just going to right click on that layer that I just created, go to Effect, Generate, and Audio Spectrum. So now you can see that the background color has disappeared and now I just need to import my audio clip. So once imported, I will just mute the audio because we don't need it on for the effect to work. Where it says audio layer, I'm going to change the source to that audio clip that we just imported. And so now you can see the animation is generating from that audio source. I recommend that you just play around with these settings and figure out what you like the looks of the best, but I will just show you the settings that I'm using. So I'll leave my start frequency the same at 20, change my end frequency to 700. I'll leave my frequency bands the same and maximum height to 500. Audio duration to 130. Thickness I'm setting to seven. And softness I'm turning down to zero. Then for my display option, I'm going to use analog line. And for side options, I want it to display on both sides, so I'm selecting side A and B. And then just scrub through my video and make sure that I like how everything looks. I'm happy with how that looks, so I'll go ahead and change the colors. I'm going to make my inside and outside color both white. And then adjust the position of my audio spectrum. So the last thing that I'm going to do is go down to my layers and delete the transparent video. Then I'm just saving and we can return back to Premiere Pro. So back in Premiere Pro, our transparent video has been replaced with a linked After Effects composition. And all that's left to do is make any final adjustments to the video before exporting. So the last thing that I'm going to do is select my audio spectrum layer. And in our effects control, I'm going to reduce the opacity down to 30 and change the blend mode to overlay. And once I'm happy with how everything looks, I'm going to hit Command M to open up my export window. So I'm going to export this as an MP4. So for the format, I've selected H.264. Match source is fine for the preset. And then underneath captions, I want to make sure that burn captions into video is selected. I don't know, man. I don't think I could date somebody who doesn't have at least like one like psychiatric issue. Don't trust normies, dude.